This is the scene just outside the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium in central Tokyo. This is the venue, of course, for the Total Energy BWF World Championships 2022. We've just uh, completed uh, four matches here. The first of the men's was quite an epic. That's the first one that's gone past the now, the first one that's gone to three games. Let's see what will happen next in another men's singles match, one to away of Chinese Taipei versus China's Lu Guangzhou. Well, we've had uh, the upper part of that draw, a couple of results today. And the winner of this match between Wang and Lu will play Kai Schaefer, or more likely, of course, Jonathan Christie of Indonesia. Is also the seventh seed. Get through that, and you're playing either Li Chukyu of Hong Kong, China, or Cho, Cho Tianqian of Chinese Taipei. So the fixtures start to get really nice and tasty, don't they? Very, very soon. First up, though, we must get our way through Wang Zhuwei of Chinese Taipei and China's Lu Guangzhou. Could have potential for another epic here between these two. Uh, these two have met each other a couple of times before. Lu Guangzhou has won both of them most recently, just a couple of months ago at the Malaysia Open where he won so it in end. straight games. So, and uh, the previous meeting was at the Career Masters in 2019. Lu Guangzhou won that in three. Away is uh, someone who's done pretty well over the years. Asian Games bronze medal in 2018. He's won an East Asian Games bronze medal in 2013. 27 years of age. 178 centimeters tall from Taipei. Currently 16th in the world. His highest ranking was ninth, and that was uh, just a year, almost a year and a half ago, pretty much. February of 2021. First round, he beat the veteran Win Tianmin in uh, very easy fashion. He's got world record number of a uh, record number of appearances at the World Championships, Tianmin, but was dispatched in under half an hour. Lu Guangzhou, 25. He's 178 centimeters tall. Currently 24th in the world. His best is 17th. That was achieved in May of 2019. His first match was uh, a much harder one against Toby Penty of England, which he won in three. One he would have expected to have won relatively comfortably. Just going back to 
wants away, who's a former World Junior Champion runner-up in 2013. Came second then. Simon Alman Fung of Hong Kong, China. Is the umpire. And Ballerina Siem of India is the service judge. Well, Wante Wei has won one title at the BWF World Tour. That was at the Side Mode International in 2019. He's won a number at the Grand Prix level when it used to be known as that. Most recently, the Dutch Open in 2016. Ready to play. As for Luke Wante, for with China, he's won the Sudirman Cup last year in Finland, Fanta. Thomas Cup. He's won a silver in 2020. He's had a gold in the Asia Mixed Team Championships in 2019. And at the Asia Team Championships, he's won a silver in 2018. In terms of titles on the World Tour, well, he's won the Canada Open in 2018. The same year, he won the Australian Open as well. A couple of runner-up runner finishes. The side Modi International in 2018, and the Luxury China Masters in that year as well. In terms of their experience of playing at this level, at the World Championships, well, ladies and gentlemen, on my right. Blue Wang to China. And on my left, Wang Zui, Chinese Taipei. Wang Zui to serve. Love all. Play. Nice start there. For Wang Zuwei, who's playing in his third World Championships. Got to the second round in 2018. Also in 2019, where he lost to Kenta Nishimoto. As for this man here, Lu Guang Zhu, this is also his third World Championships. 2019, he got to the second round, lost to Li Zichard, took him to three games. And last year, he lost to the losing finalist, Kidambi Srikant, in the round of 16. Excellent work from Wang. Service over. But not quite One, in. One, two. Nice intense start from him, though. Likes that one, doesn't he? Ladies Play. Play. Easy finish there for Lou. Lovely shot down the line, isn't it? From Service one. over. Great player. Three. Strong oh. and agile. Okay, yeah. 
certainly want to overturn that head to head. Four, three. Very little between them in the rankings. 24th versus 16. That's one to at the moment. He's one of the seeds here as well. But he's won the Service point. Over. Five, four. Pretty tight start now. This one. Service over. Yeah, they're both matching each other for those kind of Five, shots, aren't they? Eight. She's done. Oh, the jump smash. Once away, he's played uh, 428 matches in total in his career. 257 wins, 171 defeats. Liu Kuang Tu has played 133. He's won 82. He's lost 51. Yep, trading points at the moment, these two. Not quite making it over. He's a little bit frustrated by that one. Yeah, this is uh, actually a point at a time, and they're both playing great shots. So something's got to give, in a way. to put on oh. more than a point at a time. Oh. Lou goes back into the lead. here in a row. Yeah, 
missed his mark. Nine, and now seven. opens up a two-point lead here. Lu Guang Tu. That's uh, pretty much the biggest lead he's had so far. To rally, one of which uh, on to where comes out on top. Service over. Eight, nine. These points are coming quite quickly, aren't they? Very cool customer, one to wait. Doesn't give much away. He'll drop that. Ten, eight. Yeah, played that well. That well, good work from Lou. Oh! That is just out. 11 8 in the And it's the Chinese shuttler that goes into the interval with a valuable three point lead. 11 8 up in game one. Just see the irritation on uh, Walter Way's face, can't you? This is, uh, relatively speaking, in this match, about a bigger lead. Has anyone has had five points? Looking good now, Lu Guang Tu. Much better from Wang. That'll make him a bit Nine, happier. Now, can he put a few of those away in a row? Go 
Some great reactions from Wong, but Service they elicited a very simple 49. kill shot there from uh, Lou. Easy one to put away. Right in the slot, isn't it, that one? Oh, that doesn't look good here for Wang. He just paused for a second there. He didn't look sure of himself, and the umpire just asked uh, if he was okay. Seems to be fine, just asked if he could have a drink of water, but he just stopped for a second. Just trying to compose himself. 14, just keep an nine. eye on that. Just wonder if he's um, fully fit, perhaps. Let's see. Well, that answers the question. <laughs> he looks pretty good. Over. And a shot like that. Fantastic. Ten, One to wait. Look at this. Wonderfully done. Well, nothing wrong with just taking a minute or just taking a second or two to just compose yourself. in a row that's better 11 slowly but surely trying to reduce that deficit that uh, Lou worked so hard to build up Well, whatever it was that he did earlier when he took that very small pause, it certainly helped him refocus. He's suddenly right back in it, isn't he? A bit of a mishit there from uh, Lou. Lovely work there from Wang. Oh, and he's actually won the point. He was on the ropes for a bit. 13-14. Good save from him earlier on. He looked, looked like he was in trouble there, but recovered. And frankly, that really was lose point to lose, which he did in the end. So only one point in it. He has been superb the last few minutes. Long to wait. All of a sudden, he seems to be just got it back on again. Had gone missing for a little bit. He looks far more. There you go. Brilliant. And he's now in front. 50, 40. Excellent. From Wong to Wei, who was struggling for a while. Remember, he had a five point deficit. It's a huge swing of points now. And he's just won six in a row here. Fifteen, 
14. Very, Flat. very nicely done by Wang. And he continues, doesn't he? Once away. 14. Seven points in a row. When you look back, he's not actually played that much badminton. To be fair, neither is Lu Guang too. 19 matches for Wang, 11 wins, 8 losses. For Wang, it's 13 wins, 9 defeats. Playing like the man who's been seeded here at the World Championships. 17, 14. Eight points in a row. It's a fantastic run. And he was looking like he was under real pressure earlier. Made it over. Service over. And that goes to Luke on to it's quite a way to break a run of points. 15, in spectacular fashion. 17. Considering he only started playing top level badminton in April this year, the Asia Championships. Once away was out of the second round there. He then got to the quarterfinals of the Thailand Open. He was uh, pretty much comprehensively defeated by Victor Axelson in the second round of the Indonesia 15, Masters. 17. We already Play. spoke about earlier about his defeat at the hands of this opponent here, Luke Wang Tzu, at the Malaysia Open in the second round. Pranoy beat him at the Malaysia Masters in the second round as well. That was a fairly close match. He was defeated in the opening round the Singapore Open to the eventual winner, Anthony Ginting. And his home tournament, 16, the 17. Taipei Open, he lost in the quarterfinals, surprisingly, in three to Lin Chun-Yi. So it's uh, not been a great year for Wang Tzu Wei. He's only been playing for about five months this year. Not really played too many tournaments. Luke going to putting that pressure on, and he's drawn level. Well, this is swung again. What about Luke going to? How has he done this year? He started at the German Open where he lost to Kidambi Srikant in the second round of the German Open. Got to the quarters and lost to another Indian player, of the All England, Lakshya Sen. Yeah, we have to give a walk over there. opponent so eliciting old. that kind of shot. Well, Lou lost in the quarterfinals of the career masters 17. to the player who was just on here earlier, Sitikom. And then surprisingly lost to the Thailand Open to Brian Young in the opening round. Loken, you defeated him in the quarterfinals of the Indonesia Masters. And uh, yeah, he was pretty much thrashed, wasn't he, by Victor Axelsson at the Indonesia Open in the second round. Kunlavut beat him in three in the quarterfinals of the Malaysia Open. Please. 
Wong is now on 19, almost there in game 19, one. 19, 17. Chico Wardoyo beat him at the Malaysia Masters in the semis, the tournament that the Indonesian went on to win. We lost to Cho Tian Chen, another player from Chinese Taipei, of course, in the Singapore mm -hmm. Open opening round. So he hasn't got too far in tournaments this year. Now that is a tight-ish one. Challenges. It was called in. Called in. Let's see. It did look out, actually, but it is actually quite comfortably in. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 20. Game point 17. Just three game points here for once away. Pulls one back, Service three point two. Nicely done into that corner, game. and he's taking the first game. Once away, 21 18. And he had a very good period just after the interval where he stormed back and won. Put on a superb run of eight points in a row to send him up for this win. So into game two we go with Wong Tsui having taken the first. That's a great badminton played by both. Service 
over. He showed some absolute One brilliant nine. shots at one. A real strength. And all the harder in these uh, slower conditions. But that has not deterred him. He has got that strength and capability. There you go. Another case Seven, in point. Over. 17, one, over. He's picking his marks beautifully, one to eight. And after that brief blip, he suddenly seems to be back in it from about the uh, halfway point of game one. Very good in imperious form here. But Lu Guangzhou has also pulled off some magnificent shots himself. Now that time, just a little too much on. He knows it. Such are his standards. He knows he can do better. Player, of course, who's been inside the top ten points away, he's just not played very much badminton. Okay, it just unleashes that uh, when you're least expecting it. Just a bit of a struggle. That doesn't last long for Lou. Five, three. Does that nicely at the net. Off points again, Three. isn't he?
Yeah, yeah might have just kept the net along the way. He doesn't Seven, care. Three. And he's now four clear of his opponent, Luke Wong Tu. Trying to put on a decent run here. One, two, eight. Just as I say that, Lu Guan Tzu pops up with that one. Yeah, got down well to it, but needed a little bit more on that. The cheeks there for Luke Wong. It's hard work out there. Ooh. Good recovery. Well done there, Luke Wong. To, um, to uh, Wong, and he's won a great point. Service over. Well, he looked to be out for the Eight, count. Four. 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 That's a nice little turn there. Fantastic work there from Motorway. It's one of the points of the day. Pretty much at his mercy there. Five, eight. And he could have finished off. Went for the corner. Well, he can still stay in this. There's only three points in it. That easy finish Six, for Lugong too. Two points in it. Going to feels that had uh, gone out. Look going to patiently waiting. It is indeed out. 
That's good call. Cool. Seven, eight. Two quick shots in a row for seven one. Is over. Nine, seven. He knew what was going to happen next. Yeah, you really have to say he's playing with such great confidence now, Wong. So, to his credit, keeps pace with the Eight, Chinese Taipei player. He's not letting him off so easily. Get that wiped down. This, of course, all the games for ship. It helps go to the thoughts of this one here. Thank you. Still at one point. He still feels he'll be in this. Too. And that means Nine. we are all level again. Some good reactions from him. in front here, one to wait, only just for that slender point. Just crept in. Is, is that the little push he needs for a platform?
10 all. Nothing to separate these two. Fantastic badminton on offer. 10 all. Play. So just that one point lead then for Wang Tzu Wei ahead of Lu Kuang Tzu in game two, having already taken the first game. It's got uh, irritation from Wang Tzu Wei. Just hesitated, perhaps. All level again. Well, it was tight, but it was out. That quickly at the net. Nicely done. 13, 11, 13, 11, Extends that lead to three now. 14, it's been a good 11. session post interval for Wang Tzu Wei. Much better for him. Three in a row here. of action couldn't return that 15, and they'd be 11. very happy with how things have gone in the last couple of minutes one to wait Executing some of these shots absolutely brilliantly. 16, 11. Some very, very good shots played by one to eight. Oh, 
Well, he desperately needed that, didn't he? Lu Guang Tzu. He needed something just beyond the reach of Wang Tzu Wei. Got a little touch on it, but yeah, now he needs a similar type of run, Lu Guang Tzu. Slowly Service slipping away over. from him. He doesn't do something 12. very soon. Luke wants to. Absolutely brilliant. He threw himself at that the second time. But that's the kind of athlete he is, Wong to Wei. Service over. 13, this was excellent 17. from him, but it was just a step too far after that. Look at how quick he got to his feet. Just lost his footing as he recovered there. And uh, that's a supreme athlete. Wang Tzu Wei is. Uh, as far as Luke Wang Tzu is concerned, he's looking at uh, a turning point, if he can, to try and keep him in this. He's four points behind. He just wants a little bit more wipe down here. On the court. Thank you. So four is the magic number. That's the gap between these two and what Wang needs to win this match. Well out, isn't it? Disappointment for Luke Wang Tzu. Over. He's 18, slowly dawning upon him now. He is quite likely on his way out, unless he can do something here. He's never gone out of the first round of the World Championship. There's something a bit more 13, subtle from 13. one. Well, that's very uh, one to way esque, isn't it? That shot from. Look one too. It's kind of shots to be playing all day. Yeah, he had him, but he wanted him. Uh, Look one too. 
still a four point gap though. Challenges pulled out. Let's see if he wins this challenge. That's way, way out, isn't it? Way out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 16, 19. Like. Now he's given himself four match points Service once away. Over. Excellent work. Twenty match point sixteen. Will he finish us off? Not the first time of asking Wong to wait. <laughs> and for the first time, he has beaten Luke Wong Tzu. It's been an excellent display of attacking badminton, of strength and athleticism. It's been a real joy to watch. A brilliant work. 18, from Wong Tzu Wei, who has beaten Lu Guang Tzu at the third time of asking. And he's been well worth the victory today. And he but continues playing like this. Well, could be one to watch out for later in the tournament, but he has been. Very, very good value today. And Avengers that defeat at the Malaysia Open just a couple months ago. So, Wang Tuwei of Chinese Taipei beats China's Lu Guangzhou, 21-18, 21-16. And just about, just under an hour. Coming up next, we've got men's doubles action for you here at the World Championships.